Ladies and gentlemen, let's try game to the video. The R9 390X, aka Fiji, has appeared to the world. A photo has appeared on the internet and has been leaked by Johan Anderson, DICE's technical director. And he said he's been playing around with AMD's flagship card and has called it seriously impressive. Now, obviously, this is not really a leak leak. It's not a leak as in, you know, someone's happened to catch the GPU during transit and taken a photo or a review website has, you know, taken a photo and then kind of emailed it to one of their friends and it's appeared on the internet or something like that. No, this is obviously from AMD's blessing. And it's actually rather close to the 3D renderer that was released a short while ago. Ironically, many people actually filed that as inaccurate, but it turns out not so much with the inaccurate. There are a couple of things that you're going to notice with this GPU. The first is that, well, there's no fan. Now, it appears that this is going to be a water cooling, uh, water cooled device, and it looks rather sleek and sexy. The third, the second thing, rather, that you're going to notice is that if it is water cooled, we don't see any hoses. But then again, it is a cropped image, so they could just be out of the photo, or you know, we don't know. But this island is seriously impressive and sweet GPU. Wow and thanks at AMD Radeon that would be put to good use, says Johan. And uh, Dan Baker points out that, hey, do you find yourself wondering what that little switch does under the Radeon label? And Graham Sellers from AMD responded, oh, that this disables HCF instruction. So, we are really, really close to the GPU landing, and we know that it's going to be pretty damn close. We know, of course, that the drivers are working, and we know that, well, it's going to perform extremely, extre extremely nicely. I have to confess that this GPU launch is actually probably exciting me the most out of any in recent memory. The main reason behind it is because of high bandwidth memory. I'm very curious to see just what the effect of HBM is going to be in terms of, you know, the benchmarks, what's it actually going to bring to the table. And there are so many different stories and rumours and musings regarding this GPU, I just want to see it in the bloody flesh or, you know, the PCB or what have you. So I think it's going to be pretty damn interesting. But um, if you want the actual photo, the actual image, you can go ahead and check out the linked article, which is of course in the video's description, where you know you can go ahead and check out either the tweet or the um, embedded image if you want to send it over to your friends or buddies or co-workers. But for now, I'm going to get going. A couple of short videos today because I've got a hell of a lot of stuff on over the next couple of days. Amata is in London. She is doing an expo thing where she's doing meeting up with friends and doing all the other bits and bobs you expect in a convention which leaves me pretty much doing everything <laughs> um, which isn't ideal considering all the games have come out it's just unfortunate that the timings have just been a bit iffy so i'm gonna try and get the witcher up but it's most likely gonna slip until later on in the week we've also recorded a tech simplified which is vulcan that's actually been done i wrote the script but she had to present it because at the time i was really sick um, I kind of had a fluey thing. It wasn't ideal at all. Um, and on top of that, I've been given some hardware that I need to review. No, it's not the Fiji. It's actually a CPU and motherboard, which I'll be reviewing over the next couple of days. So I've just gotten the rest of the parts. At least I'm assuming it's all the, the parts. I haven't actually opened the box um, from Amazon. And those parts are going to be, you know, to build the rest of the system, like a PSU and so on. I might do a build log. I don't think I will. Because, quite frankly, I think most of you know how a PC is put together. I might do one of those in the future, but I think for now I'll just kind of do that off camera. Um, and obviously take the photos of the motherboard and all the other bits and bobs. And then that'll be popped up as a review for both the motherboard and the CPU. As well as maybe some guides and all of that stuff as well. So it'd be kind of cool. Yeah. So, I'm going to get going. Um, also, regarding the Witcher 3 stuff, you might have noticed that I haven't been doing so much with the Witcher 3. Uh, we did a quick graphics analysis at the start, but quite frankly, there's been so much stuff that's happened over the last few days with Witcher 3. We're only a small team, so it's like, has it really been worth doing a graphics comparison? Because we, you know, we did a we did an initial one, which is fine. But they're putting out so many bloody patches of The Witcher Three, 
and users are also putting out mods and edited configs, I figure the best option is to maybe wait. We've actually recorded all the footage. I just want to illustrate that we have got the footage done. And I could easily make time over the next couple of days if I really pushed myself. But it kind of feels like at this point I'm going to keep the footage and then compare it to later builds and see what the differences are on the console and on the PC. That just seems like a more logical option for me. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.